Hello my amazing artists and welcome. Today we're going to be making pumpkins inspired by Romero Brito, who is a contemporary artist, meaning that he's alive today and still making art. So for the first part of our pumpkins, because they're a little tricky, they're more of an organic shape than some of our geometric shapes we've practiced before, we're going to have to use some curvy lines, and I like to call them rainbows, seas, or smile lines. For our pumpkins, you want to make the main shape, so you're going to start with a C, a large C, and then you're going to do the same shape on the other side with another C, leaving space for your stem. Once you got all those lines in, you might want to add another line within your stem because they're pretty pointy on a real pumpkin. And this first step is a sketch, so you want to use your pencil so that you can erase any lines and make changes as you see fit. And as I'm making these lines, I'm constantly changing them up to, until I'm ready to move on to the next part. Now a pumpkin also has different sections within its body, so that's where I'm going to draw this other C, and it kind of looks like a crescent moon, and then another C on the other side. And your pumpkin should have three different sections for the body, and then a stem. And you can slow down or pause at any point in this video, especially at these beginning steps, to really get the shape that you want for your own pumpkin. After I'm happy with my sketch lines, I'm going to outline them all in black marker to really bring out those details, making sure I can see my final pumpkin shape. After I've completely separated, I've put in all my outlines, I'm going to go in and erase any of those pencil marks left behind so I have a clean canvas to work on. From here now I'm going to think about the different patterns I will include in all of the different sections. So in the pumpkin I started with some polka dots and then I move on to some stripes and I'm thinking of my colors as I go. So for the pumpkin, I'm going to use warm colors. Warm colors can be orange, red, reds, or yellows. When I first started making mine, I thought I didn't want black outlines for my pattern, but when I looked at it, I changed my mind and decided having black outlines for my pattern first would help you be able to see all the details of the different patterns which is why when I move on to my backgrounds patterns, I'm starting with creating patterns in black marker instead of with color. Again, in each of those background sections, you're gonna add a different pattern and it can be made of lines, different shapes, or whatever you can think of. I'll leave some inspiration, inspirational photos in the PowerPoint for your reference. Once I've filled in every section with a different pattern, I'm going in and coloring in the background with cool colors. Now the cool colors are blues, purples, and greens. The reason we want to have warm colors for the pumpkin and cool colors for the background is because this creates contrast Contrast is important because it pulls your eyes to show emphasis on the main portion of your pictures. So once
once you've colored in everything completely, making sure we're using good craftsmanship and we take our time to complete our project, there's another video at the end of this slide to show you how we're going to upload these images so I can see all the amazing things you've created. We're going to be using Artsonia, which is a website that will store all of your wonderful artwork as a digital portfolio. Through this website, I'll be able to comment on your work and hopefully we'll all be able to see what we're all creating while we're at home and you'll be able to see what some of our students in school are creating as well. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and have fun creating.